Whoa. What the heck's going on over there? Nope, I don't have enough for that. Okay, can't do anything with that. When will you be able to get us across? If you find anything we need, find me let well me know. Within your grace. Yeah. Touch me with fire and I am cleansed. Tell me I have sung to your approval. Well, there's Liliana. I really want to talk with Cullen. Your kind killed the most holy. Oh dear. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, May! Enough! Night Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. Oh, shut at you. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Poor Cullen. He's been through a lot. Like, you know, the whole thing with Aldred, then with Knight Commander Meredith. He has uh, had a lot of issues. Hi, Colin. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Get out of here, Chancellor. Which Chancel. is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. You guys let me punch him. So far, you're the only one who's insisted we can't work together. We might. If your Inquisition would recognize the Chantra's authority. Huh. There is no authority until another Divine is chosen. Here, here. In due time, Andraste will be our guide, not some dazed wanderer on a mountainside. Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay. Exactly. Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The <laughs> Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royale, however. Pretty much. How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between Mages and Templars is renewed with interest. Yeah, but who killed her? The Mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. Hmm. I'll make sure they see reason in Val Rayo. I pray you're right. Hmm. Anything? Whoa. Oh, okay. Anything else, Cullen? I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Val Rayo. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. Huh. Darn, I was hoping there would be a romance option there. Oh well, I guess I'll go talk to other people. With passion and <laughs> breath does the darkness creep. Hey Liliana. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To 
to die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak Fandraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? Um... Game? How is this a game? Do you see the Jukai? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? Uh, I'm as confused as you, really. Don't ask me, I'm as baffled as you are. You probably don't even worship the Maker. Lucky. He asks a lot. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Hmm. I'm sorry. Her death has clearly hit you hard. Not just me. All of us. She was the divine. She led the faithful. She was the heart. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Yeah, I would say Justinia would hurt- death would hurt her hard, because she was pretty much the reason why uh, Liliana got back on her path. She was just some bard stealing and killing, and, you know, she got betrayed by Marjolaine, and she thought it was all over, but Justinia gave her another purpose. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come. To work, then. We will speak later. Aw. Poor Liliana. Uh, you won't talk to me now? You don't want to talk now? Nope, okay. Guess that's all I'm getting out of you, then. So it's true. But I have done us. I hope my heart was wrong. You mean well? Colin, where did you go, my love? Oh, well. Guess I'm going to talk to the others. Let's start with Varric. Hey, Varric. Need something? Let's see. No, it doesn't look like there's anything new. Carry on. All right, let me check with Solus then. As I explored the Fade, I felt the presence of an intriguing artifact in the hinterlands. If you are willing, I would like to locate it. I have marked its location as best I could determine. Sure. Okay, nothing else there. We'll talk later. Goodbye. No, nothing of interest there. No, I don't have enough. Okay. Okay, then. Oop. Locking in the walls. So what now? Can't really do anything with that. Josephine. I guess I should talk to her too. Let's 
so much to explore, so little time. And I can't go that way. Oh, Colin's still missing. Rats. Oops. Well, I hit against something. I guess he's there. He's invisible. You sure you're not a mage and uh, Templar? Unless is she inside? Go in peace. Yeah, she's inside. Oh creator, see me kneel. For I walk only where you well, there's not to say, which is to verify that the infections have decreased in you have blessed. Yes. Thank you for only the words you Help. place in my throat. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How far is your quest to seal the breach? I'm trying. I'm doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the breach is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Andraste. But Andraste did not carry the Chant of Light alone. She had generals, advisors, and though it is considered heresy to say it, she had the aid of the elf Chartin. And her Mabari. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. Yeah. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path. And there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Hmm. Can I help you with anything? Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, she could get us what we need. It may not seem like much, but it would enable my healers to save many lives. All right. Anything of interest? Uh, I'll go back to it. Farewell. Farewell. Wow, I got a lot to do. Josephine? The Inquisition cannot remain, Ambassador. What the hell? prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. Why? This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life to slow the magic of the breach. Mistress Lavelan, this is the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And, and the rightful looking. owner of Haven. How do you lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. You're strange looking. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelda. We were honored to lend this use to divine Justinia. She is a... She was. A woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Um, hello? People have been injured. You can't just turn them out onto the snow. And who benefits if they stay? Divine Justinia, Marquis. The Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrims who mourn her. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. <sighs> We face a dark time, Your Grace. 
Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilieu. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. No one's gonna comment on his stupid look. Do the Durellions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesians. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. Uh-huh. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His Grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. Hmm. May I ask, what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Okay. Anything else to say? Greetings. Um, anything to report? What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Fair enough, okay. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated dark spawn, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about it over dinner. He spares no detail. Lovely. Ooh, what does this say? Children of Andraste, there are many misconceptions regarding Andraste's bloodline, monsieur. This is due, I should think, to a general lack of knowledge regarding Andraste's mortal life. Understandable, considering the many cults that arose following her death, everyone sought to claim Our Lady for their own culture or claim some aspect of her existence was a lie. All of them complete fabrications. My order's done considerable research to ascertain this truth. We all know Andraste and the betrayer raised five children. The eldest three were sons, Isarath, Evrian, and Verald. The rule of what was once Southern to venture was split among them. Isarath was given the west, what is today or late. Everyone was given the east, which is today the free marches. Verald was given the central planetine, what is today Navarra. What became of these men and their legacies is the stuff of legend. The majority of claimants to Adraste's bloodline linked back to one of them. None of the three sons, however, were born of Andraste. They were born of the betrayer's concubine, Jillivan. People chose, chose to overlook the fact that Andraste came from the Alamari tribesmen and that they were barbarians, not the Ferelden's we know today. They were savage warriors who took concubines in addition to their wives and became Andra and because Andraste was thought to be too weak to bear children, the betrayer took Gilvan to provide him the heirs, which she did after her death. The sons were raised as Andraste's own. Later in life, Andrasse proved predictions wrong and had two daughters by the betrayer, Ebris and Vivial. They were kept out of the public eye and not permitted to marry, though both had consorts. Ebris had but one child, Ali Vimar, who perished on a voyage to Denerim less than a month after, month after her mother fell to plague and without children of her own. The younger daughter, Vivial, was more controversial, a strong-headed woman who defied her family by falling in love with a mage to venture, Regulon. 
Vivian and Regulon went into self-imposed exile as the exalted march began and into hiding following Andrasi's betrayal and murder. The kingdom of Vivian and her descendants is largely unknown for one primary reason. She had only daughters. Each of those daughters only had daughters. They married in other fam into other families and took other names, and in the chaos of the Second Blight, all traces of the survivors were lost. Andrasi's true bloodline, if it exists, lies solely in the descendants of Vivial, and the suspicion of my order is that it produces only daughters. Thus, the claims of your young man, Monsieur, are highly suspect. A letter by Sister Jelena of the Augustine Order, Dragon 912. Interesting. Ooh, here we go. Yes. Good. Hello. You? You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. It's odd to see them accepting a mage as their hero. Especially a Dalish elf. One look at your face and it's clear you were never part of a circle. True. My name is Maeve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker Pentagast and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. Interesting. Here. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. Okay. Anything else I need to drop off? No, okay. If you find anything, please bring it in. Sorry, I got stuck there. Hang on. Well, let's look at the War Council, I guess. <laughs> now I have access to missions. Missions and operations take time and bring the Inquisition resources and rewards. Only one mission per advisor can be active at a time. Some missions have a preferred type, which results in less time required when undertaken by an associated advisor. Missions may also provide different rewards depending on which advisor completes them. Okay. Well, there's a lot to do here. Let's see, we got forces. Let's see. Detailed study of underworld customs and their brutal but practical applications. Open up the dialogue options related to criminal activities and grants 50% XP for each codex and locked. Methodology developed by an Elysian Blade Master and used by Chevaliers, increasing XP from killing foes. Well, let's go with this for now. And then Secrets, which is Liliana. I guess I don't have enough at the moment. Nope, I can't do anything with these yet. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. I'm gonna look on the Orlay board really quick. Investigate these shards. Dress the Chantry in Val Rayo. I'll have to look at Ferelden here. Oh, there's a lot on Ferelden's board. Rescue missing soldiers in Ferelden. Scout the hinterlands, obviously. Gather coin. Scout the storm coast. The tyrant of High Ever. Nobleman's concerns. Clan Lavalin. Hard and High Town. Three Eric's Revenge. Ooh, there is a lot to do with. Let's see. Connections and contact with Wench, you can send out search parties for missing soldiers right away. People, a few scouts will move quickly in a large group could. Other soldiers volunteering search for the lost comrades. They won't rest until they found them. Alright, we'll go with that. Missing soldiers have been found in a bog called the Falomar. They're being held house by Javar, who demands to meet the Herald and Dross today if the Inquisition wants to see its people again alive. Sure. Well, I don't exactly have much choice here. Thank you for coming. Maybe you can solve this mess. Our missing patrols are being held hostage by Avar. 
Barbarians from the mountains. What are they doing in a bog? That's the thing. Their leader? He wants them to fight you. Because you're the Herald of Andraste. Why? What do they have against Andraste? Well, the Avar think there are gods in nature, as in, the sky has a god and the forest. The Avar say you're claiming to be sent by one, and they'll challenge the will of your god with their own. I think their leader is just a boastful little prick who wants to brag he killed you. Yeah. I'd really rather not fight them. I was hoping we could negotiate. I wouldn't count on it. These Avar don't seem to value diplomacy. Getting to our troops won't be easy. You'll have to fight your way through undead. Wait, you're not squeamish about undead, are you? <laughs> no. It doesn't matter. I'm not letting the Avar butcher the Inquisition's people. I appreciate it. The Avar are holed up in the castle on the other side of the Fallow Mire. Make her willing, the Inquisition's people are still alive. Oh boy. Word for you. All right, well. What, what is, is it? it? This may be worthwhile. Thanks. 